Warning. I'm at the point right now where I cannot do anything else in the shop without a compressor. So I got to hook up this compressor to this, but there's no power coming to this because it's disconnected in the breaker box. So I got a new breaker that I'm going to put there. Um, I watched a YouTube video, so I think I could do it. So I've got my 30 amp breaker installed for the compressor. I got a one and two shot that that's what it is because there's also these guys. So it's either that or that, which they were previous owner was using for a hoist. So I'm just gonna get these wired up and then click that breaker on and see if that's the right one. So Trevor saw the video I sent him, he gave me a call and uh, he suggested I give it a shot this way and turns out So that's it So I got this big heavy thing, 24 inch fan and it is certainly going to move the air I got it for half price because it's used. Everything around here is on a budget, but looking good, much like my Astra build. So, I gotta get to work on this now. to do something about those flickering lights and that one that doesn't work at all and then hopefully get to framing up the door for the fan on that side I think these ballasts are like 30 bucks a piece at Home Depot or something my dad managed to get me six for $21 thanks dad Pay good money for junk. It's twisted, it's got a hump in it. That's like this would be useful if I'm trying to build like a Dr. Seuss house. Okay, 
Okay, so I've gotten the fan all framed up and installed in the door. Um, yeah, that is totally rock solid. I've got to use some silicone in the gaps around the outside, but have a look at this. Ooh, not bad, eh? And I've gotten all this done uh, before lunch, so pretty good, making good time on this. Well, let's fire it up, plug it in over there, fire it up and see how it works. Well, we've got a little bit of rain today, so I got the door bagged up. I did buy some paint for it, but uh, won't be able to paint it today, obviously. So today I think what the plan is, is to rework the intake doors. Hey Jeannie, ha. Rework the intake doors to fit the 20 inch by 48 inch intake filters that are gonna go on there. But I need music, so time lapse. All right, got all my marks laid out. So I know it's off center on the door, but that is the dead center of the door opening. And I want it all to look uniform. So when the doors are closed, they're all just evenly spaced out. There's 18 inches between that one and that one, 18 inches between that one and that one. They're 21 inches wide. The booth filters are 20 inches by 48 inches, so I got 49 inch tall and 21 inch wide, so that'll be good. All right, time to start cutting. Depressing right now, but it's gotta do what you gotta do. All right, the framing is done for the new booth intake filters. So it's nine o'clock right now at night. My goal is to get all the plywood in as well as all the inserts uh, on the inside of where the filters are gonna go. Not sure how much I'm gonna get done, but man, that is a bright booth. It's gonna be sweet when the walls are painted white. Anyways, I gotta get this thing done. So here we go. in the morning and I am really tired been working on the booth for well it's been a long day and this this old girl here she's still waiting patiently but I'll show you guys what I got done so now we have the proper size booth filters ready to go in um, what I did is I put the half inch plywood on this side it's pretty much ready for filters. Uh, this is the final form of these doors, so I know that this is the way that it's gonna wind up. There is a few gaps because I was pretty much just using scrap that I found in my pile here because it's COVID time and plywood and lumber, two by fours and plywood is just ridiculously expensive. So I'm trying to keep my costs down as much as I can. So that'll fill up with the uh, 
a little drywall mud, but that's it for today. I am done. I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Well, today we've got ourselves just another beauty of a day. The sun is shining, so my plan is to finish the exterior walls for the fan doors. Uh, yesterday I made that little roof to go over top of the fan to keep the rain off it, so today I'm gonna finish painting it, install it, and then uh, paint the outside of the doors too. And then from the outside of the shop, with the doors closed, the booth will be finished. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the episode right there. Slick, signing off. Thanks for joining me for this episode. Next episode is gonna be really cool. Uh, getting all the light fixtures figured out with the glass to go in there. I've got a great plan and hopefully next episode we're gonna see some white walls in there. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. Take care, guys. I tell you, I just love our new fish tank. It's nice to look at, it's fun to watch, and if you know me, you know that uh, I love fresh seafood. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, fishies, come on. Come on.